congratulations, class of 2020. Now, please join me in welcoming your class valedictorian, Lauren Scraff. Thank you, Mrs. Coxix. Uh, wow, what an amazing four years it has been for you and I, fellow 18 and or 21 year olds. I gotta be honest, guys, I never thought this day would come. I mean, like I knew I would graduate, but uh, didn't think I'd be tackling it with no pants on. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Henderson. Some of you might be wondering why I'm your valedictorian and why I'm speaking at your graduation and what the significance of two tassels is. The answer to all of those questions is, I'm just smarter than you. Now, you could have had anyone at your virtual graduation. Obama, Julie Andrews, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Anna Kendrick, Ed Asner. Is he still alive? But what is a successful person gonna tell you? What you're gonna be when you're their age? I'm here to tell you what I thought I was gonna be when I was your age by the time I reached my age. I went into film school thinking I had the skills and the ego to be a pretentious, art house loving son of a gun. But it only took a couple weeks into school for me to realize I wanted to do so much more than that. I was limiting myself to a pretentious filmmaker when I could be a pretentious anything. You wanna know how many YouTube videos I've made? 68. Yeah, this one is number 69. That's true, that's a real fact. And I'm not gonna say nice or high five anyone because I've matured, because I've grown, because I'm quarantining alone and there is no one to high five me back. But like our great scholars before us have said, it be like that sometimes. Sometimes in life you're gonna do something really, really great that you worked really, really hard on. I just said hard on. And no one will be there to high five you. You look down, there's only one set of footprints in the sand. And who's gonna high five you, Jesus? Jesus can't high five you because he's carrying you. I'm kidding, it's because he's dead. I'm kidding. It's because he has huge, painful, gaping holes in his hands. Nailed it. Now, I don't have to tell you guys to try new things. I've seen what y'all are up to on TikTok. Y'all will try anything. Just in the six or seven months that we've been in quarantine, y'all have become bakers, painters. A princess, a criminal, a basket case. And that doesn't end when quarantine ends. Something they don't tell you is you're gonna change your mind about what you wanna do for the rest of your life for literally the rest of your life. In college, in your 20s, in your 30s, even in your 80s, I see you grad grandmas. Congratulations, you finally did it. What I'm trying to say is you have the power to be your own champion. Let's just ditch the robe because I'm very sweaty. And while we're at it, fucking, fucking. Who invented those? Look, I learned books. Let me wear one on my head. <sighs> so what was I saying? Uh, da, 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 69, nice, Jesus, nailed it. Uh, champion, you have to be your own champion. Also helps to be your own worst critic because a life led by only championing yourself with not even so much as a TikTok minute of self-reflection is a life of a straight white man. And no one wants that for their babies. I know I don't. I don't want that for your babies. So you have to love yourself, but you also kind of got to hate yourself. Luckily, that comes later in your 20s. You'll see. It's a whole Six Flags roller coaster, and I just can't wait for you guys to experience it. Congratulations, class of 2020. 